Hey, it's Zell. Welcome back to part 3 of the Visual Studio setup series. If you haven't watched the first two parts yet, I suggest you watch them first because what we are going to do will carry on from what we have done previously. For today, I want to share with you the extensions that I use on VS Code on a daily basis. Here's the complete list of extensions that I use. Let's go through them one by one, starting with Advanced New File. Advanced New File is an extension that helps you create files and folders easily. To use Advanced New File, you hit Command Option N to bring up a prompt. This prompt lets you choose the folder you want your file to be created. In this case, let's say I want to create a file in the JavaScript folder. Once you hit enter, it prompts you to create a file name or a relative path to the file. If I want to create a file called testing.js, I can do so and hit enter. And if you look at the explorer, you will see testing.js inside the JS folder, just like that. The second extension that I use is bracket pair colorizer. Bracket pair colorizer adds colors to your brackets. It does so for three different kinds of brackets. Parenthesis is one kind, square brackets is the second kind, and curly brackets, there will be the third kind. If you have multiple brackets within each other, bracket pair, co bracket pair colorizer changes the colors of the brackets to match the opening and closing pair. There are three colors in total yellow followed by purple followed by blue you can change the colors if you want to but i prefer to set it as the default the third extension i want to introduce today is called code spell checker code spell checker checks your code to make sure the words you write are valid english this helps you reduce errors for example if i accidentally typed document.query selectory because selectory isn't an English word, code spell checker will add a squiggly green line below selectory. It works with camel case, which is really great because that would help us when we write JavaScript. If you want to use other languages with code spell checker, that is also possible. You just have to install one of the extensions that are listed below over here. The fourth extension that I recommend you use is called Editor Config. Editor Config helps you format code bases the same way. It works with six different options, and then style, and then size, tab width, end of line, insert final new line, and trim trailing spaces. It is usable for all kinds of text editors, so if you work with multiple text editors or if you work with teammates, editor config is almost like a must-have extension. The next plugin I would like to introduce to you is called Path IntelliSense. For example, if I want to find image number three, I can write slash and the immediate folders will pop up. In this case, it will be images and then slash again image number three. The only caveat is Path IntelliSense only works when you write a slash. So if it's a relative path, you will want to remove the initial slash or you can use dot slash that works as well. The next extension I would like to introduce today is called settings sync. What this does is it saves the settings you've written in your settings file into a GitHub gist. So you can port over to another computer and download the settings automatically. Unfortunately, it doesn't save the extensions that you use, which is a bummer, but it is very helpful when you update a setting in one computer and you need to move on to another computer. The next extension I want to introduce to you is called sort JSON objects. What sort JSON object does is, as its name suggests, it sorts JSON objects by alphabetical order. 
If you check your settings file now, it might be a little bit hard to read because the order of the properties are not in alphabetical order. What you can do is to select everything and use sort JSON and sort JSON objects will sort it in alphabetical order. The next plugin I would like to introduce to you is called sort lines. What sort line does is given a set of lines, it sorts the lines in alphabetical order. To use sort lines, you can hit function F9 and you can use sort lines. Alternatively, you can bring up the command palette and say sort lines. The last extension I would like to introduce to you today is called to do highlight. To do highlight allows you to write comments that says to do with a colon and it will turn into a bright orange background. So you can leave notes for yourself. Besides to do, there is also a second format called fix me and that will turn the background to red in color. So you can use it for a higher level priority error, for example. And once you have to do's and fix me's in your code, you can search for to do list highlighted annotations all and to do highlight will show you the notes that you have left for yourself and the different files they are in. So that's it for today. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you like this video, consider hitting the subscribe button and I will send you a video like this every Friday. Or better yet, head over to my blog at zelwk.com and I will send you an article and a video to help you become a better front-end developer every week. With that, happy Friday. I wish you have a good weekend and I'll see you next week.